Hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here, we'd love to have you as part of the family. So please press the subscribe button if you would like. And also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post new content. And if you're enjoying this video and you are a real one, let's go ahead and go dolls to the walls and click the thumbs up button because it really helps out my channel. All of my social medias will be sprinkled in the description box below so now that you dolls know everything you need to know let's go ahead and get into this video so first off I want to just say a thank you thank you thank you to each and every one of you who are sitting here with me today and watching this video I love you dolls so so much it's gonna be a quick cute little haul video for you so as you can see I have all of the bags around me majority of everything is from Burlington y'all already know that's my one-stop shop if you guys follow me on any of my other social medias like TikTok or Instagram or if you watch my shorts you guys may have seen some of this stuff already but for the most part it's all new to YouTube. This is the bag with all of the freaking items that are my favorite viral items. If you dolls are new to my channel I do collect Juicy Couture specifically Juicy Couture purses so I do have an awful lot. I will link below my Juicy Couture collection that I recently filmed for you guys. I'll link that below in case you haven't seen it and you're new to my channel so you can see what's in my Juicy collection so far. But if you guys have any questions about the amount of Juicy items I have in this video that is why because I do collect Juicy so I just wanted to put that out there ahead of time so people are asking why do you have so many Juicy I collect them. Also another thing I wanted to add was I do sell a lot of my old Juicy and all of my like old things that I don't want in my closet on my Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and also Macari. So if you dolls are interested in shopping my closet, I will definitely leave those links in the description box for you guys because I am selling a few of my Juicy Couture pieces and along with some other clothes and things of that nature. So just make sure you check the box below. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm just like meandering this entire thing. I came across the cutest hot pink velour, I call it lunchbox bag. It's really just a crossbody bag with a, like the little square. It just reminds me of a lunchbox because I, so I call it a lunchbox bag. Unfortunately, it did have a mark on it. So I ended up leaving it behind. But I did find this bag, you guys. Okay guys, so I stood up because I feel like you guys can't really see it in the light. Like the sun is too bright. But it's just this light baby pink shoulder bag, you guys. It's so cute. It's called the Pink Diamond B Classic 2 Shoulder Bags. If you dolls know me, then you know. I love a cute shoulder bag. Yes, I love me a cute shoulder bag. And when I saw this one, I don't have one in this style, like this shape. So I had to pick it up because this has like the straight and then the round. It's a lot bigger I feel than the other shoulder bags I have. But anyways you guys, I am obsessed with this. I feel like it's the perfect pink color. It matches my vibe perfectly. Now I was not on the hunt for this. I went in looking for that hot pink bag like I told you guys. And then they had this one in hot pink with like the ombre stones. They also had it in black with the ombre stones. But I didn't really like them because I didn't like the color of the stones on those bags. The whole rack was full of hot pink. Which I totally get because it's becoming summer so hot pink is in right now. But I was just like, girl, I know they're not gonna have the light pink. Like, I know they're not. And I saw a little bit of a light pink, like the strap off the corner of my eye. I was like, hmm, what is this? I pulled it out and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe. And this was the only one because I went through the whole store looking for her to see if there was more of these. And this was the only light pink one they had at my store. So I am super, super excited. Now I do know my store gets a lot of resellers in there because the girlies that work there tell me that resellers come in all the time and buy up all the juicy, which is why it's kind of hard um to like keep stock with it but i was so lucky to find this i just think she's so pretty y'all already know i'm not going to show y'all the inside it's the classic black and white print if you guys haven't seen that check out my other juicy couture videos because i show you guys the insides of the bag and there's just the classic white and black print let me get up close now that the sun is kind of settled um can you guys see that there's also the heart-shaped zipper in gold 
but you guys this is so pretty i know it's not doing it justice because it's a little washed out because i'm filming in front of my window and my room is super bright the original price of this bag was 69 dollars, and i got it for 17.99 so that is so super cute you guys are you guys ready for this i don't think you are because girl i wasn't ready for it i told this story in my closet clean out because it literally happened while i was filming my closet clean out one of the girlies at burlington that worked there texted me a photo of the new juicy bags they got out sent me the photo of the display table and there was so much velour juicy bags and i have been looking for the velour juicy bag i have one terry cloth and i'm on the hunt for the bowler bag or the tote haven't been able to find that and then i saw the velour bags coming out and i'm like girl because if you guys don't know like if you're not a, a juicy baby i was a juicy baby like juicy was popping when i was growing up and then it kind of went away and now they're bringing it back but if you were like an original juicy baby you know the bags that they had were velour they weren't like all of this other material that they're coming out with they were just velour bags to match their velour track suits so i when i saw these velour bags i was like i have to get one of these bags so I literally texted her back immediately and I'm like hey girly can you please put and I circled in the picture I just circled them these bags on hold for me I want to be there tonight to pick it up she said when she got back from her lunch literally the table was cleaned out like pretty much cleaned out and there was only like a few left and she was like I think she was, there was only like three or four left and she was able to get me the two that I wanted. <sighs> Thank you, Juicy Gods. Why am I telling this long story? Anyways, I didn't need to give you guys that long story, but this is a short video, so I figured I might as well chit chat. Y'all know, I say the video's gonna be short and it's actually gonna end up being an hour, <laughs> cause I talk a lot. Keep in mind, this bag comes in black with the gems, and it also comes in pink. And the pink and black have the ombre gems. So they have the pink, orange, and yellow gems on it. It doesn't have the clear. Just the light pink has the clear. You guys. You guys. Do you see this? <sighs> Gagging. When I tell you I was having a panic attack in my closet, would I tell you I stopped filming immediately and started running down the street? Like, I was running down the street because I was running to go to the Burlington to buy the bag. But I knew that by the time I would get there, it was a chance that a reseller would walk in and take everything. So I had to just text her and ask her to grab it for me as soon as she could because I just felt like I wasn't going to make it in time. How cute! The velour tote. The bottom is made of like the fake leather which is really good because I was worried when I saw this I was like oh my god how am I gonna set this down because it's gonna get dirty on the bottom but I like that it has the material that you can wipe off on the bottom and the rest is velour I also love the strap you guys it's a velour strap now if you guys no, they have come out with another version of the velour tote with the like utility straps like the sporty straps I keep saying this I hate the sporty straps it just doesn't make sense it doesn't match their style of bag so I saw that and I was like you know what I could just get that and like take the straps off because I noticed their straps are removable and this one's removable too so I was like I could just take the straps off like no biggie and just have the tote so I was kind of on the hunt for that one but before I could even find it I found this one with the velour strap and the straps also adjustable I was just like dead here's what it looks like the inside is nothing special it's just a black and white I will let you guys know though what the name of these are so this one is called the pink diamond big spender mini tote and it's originally $89 but they are $25 at Burlington and Marshalls I think has them as well it also comes with this heart let me get it up you guys and just show you since it's dark in here anyway it comes with like this heart charm like poofy heart charm it's so cute it says Jessica Tour Los Angeles on it you guys I died when I saw this like look at the rhinestones on this this is so freaking pretty 
then you guys then this happened and I was just like oh my god I had to get it the backpack it's her twin and it has the rhinestones the bottom though on the backpack is velour so you gotta be careful with this one because this one if you set it down it will probably get dirty on the bottom especially for it to be such a light pink color you definitely have to be careful um so i have to remember that but for the most part if i wear this i'm just gonna wear it on my back i'm not gonna take it off or sit it down just because yeah i don't want anything to happen with this um it has the pocket zipper pocket in the front um, and then you guys just take a quick look at this. This is so gorgeous. And then also it has the poofy, it's still tied on, but the poofy heart charm, which is so cute. But then the straps are velour. I was so happy to see that because it, the photo she sent me didn't show me the straps. And typically their straps are like utility straps, especially on backpacks. You guys, this makes me so happy. Like I'm living out my little childhood dreams here like cute sorry you guys probably can't see i'm sorry don't mind my pants but like how cute is this backpack you guys what was this called this is called the pink diamond big spender so this whole velour collection i guess is called the big spender backpack and it was originally 99 dollars, and then they had it at burlington for 27.99 so girl like what are we talking about like what are you saying to me you're not you're not saying anything to me like if you're not a juicy girl i don't know who you are like get out of my face should we take a break do y'all need a break do you need to get a water i know those bags were a lot i know he did a lot i have been looking for a bag like this so I got this like, I don't know what you call this, cross body bag? What is this called? Yeah. And you guys can comment below and let me know like what is this style bag called? I see it everywhere and like, and I thought it was so cute, but I'm not entirely sure what it's called. You guys let me know, what is the style called? Anyways, I was looking for this style of a bag and I was looking for it just to wear to like when I go work out or run errands and I just wanna be sporty or when I wanna travel or hike. I didn't want it to be like a really super, super pretty bag because obviously if I go hiking, I don't want it to get dirty and I'm not gonna take it with me. So I was just really looking for something that was more realistic but also fit my vibe. And I just thought that this one was so freaking cute. This is by Airy, I think, Aeropostale. Yeah, this is by Aeropostale New York. I haven't seen them in a long time, so that's so weird. But it's in this light a blush pink color. And I just thought it was so freaking cute. There's two pockets here. I'm not a huge fan of them having their logo like plastic on the front like that, but that's okay. There's one pocket there. Ashley is pretty deep, you guys can see. So I feel like there's a lot I can fit in here, girl. Like my wallet, my phone, my sunglasses. I probably wouldn't take my wallet hiking though, but if I want to errands, yes. My sunglasses. I could fit a water bottle in here, um, my ear pods, all of that. And then they have this like adjustable strap right here, which is so cute. I was looking for a Nike one and I also wanted to get a, not a white one. I also wanted to get a black one as well. So I was looking for the Nike ones, but I just didn't find those. And some of the Puma ones I found were a little bit expensive and I was shocked. I'm like, Puma, you're acting like y'all, you're Nike. Like you're not Nike, chill. Y'all, I'm not gonna be able to put this on over my hair. <laughs> I was gonna try it, but girl, don't try it. Yeah, I don't have any other bags in this style and I love fanny packs. They're just so comfortable and casual. And to be honest with you guys, fanny packs are like the most convenient bag for me. So I feel like this is a fanny pack, but on your back and it's just so hands-free. So I absolutely love that idea about this bag. Like you're not gonna go somewhere with this bag and forget it because it's gonna be literally on your back, you know? So this was $15, it was $14.99. Let me see the original price. Oh, the original price isn't on here. Oh my God, there's like a little damage on the back. Oh no, it's a little damaged. Oh no. Oh, you guys, I just realized something. There's like a little damage on the back of the backpack. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to return this. That's so sad. Maybe I can find one that I actually like. This isn't the first time I've bought a bag from this particular Burlington and it's had a slice or a cut in it. The last wallet I showed you guys, I think I showed it 
on TikTok or on my Instagram. It might be on my shorts too, the black one. I don't have that to show you guys in this video. The one that matches the black baddie bag, I don't have it because I ended up returning it because I noticed looking at that video, there was actually a cut in the wallet at the top and I didn't notice that when I bought it. So I ended up returning it. I also bought another bag that I ended up keeping, but it's like, this is not the first time that I've bought bags from this Burlington and they're like damaged because who's ever cutting open the boxes are not being careful and they're not just cutting the tape, they're cutting the product. So I think that that is what this is from. That sucks because I really like this bag. It's like the only sporty bag I have. I'm gonna see if I can exchange it tomorrow. Damn, I'm so pissed about that though. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Burlington is kind of like random and miscellaneous. It's a household item. This is a three piece sink set and it has like the silicone tray, a, a sink strainer and like a, like a sponge. I needed the strainer. This is what I needed. And I went there thinking, okay, Burlington or Ross, one of them are gonna have a sink strainer because the strainer I have in my sink right now has been there since I moved in. And it's so disgusting, you guys. It has like slime all over it. And I noticed we've been having like a fruit fly problem like with the sink. And like fruit flies keep coming up out of the sink and I keep having to pour bleach down there and I can't figure out what it is. And then I started like cleaning and I looked at the strainer and the bottom of the strainer was so disgusting. There was so much food and just smudge and grunge behind it. So I wanted to get a new strainer. So I thought, why get a regular normal strainer? There was tons of them there when I could get this pink one. Now, the only thing about this is I did not need the three piece set. Like I didn't need the tray and the sponge, but there wasn't a singular pink strainer. Um, all of the singular strainers were all like silver and black and white. They weren't cute. This one is cute and it has like a little sunflower in the middle. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It was $5.99, which is kind of like, ugh. But at the same time, you do get these other two pieces. The sponge, I don't feel like I would use because it's just not, I like a more heavy duty sponge. But I think the silicone tray I might be able to use on my sink. Maybe we'll set this up in a vlog with you guys because I do, I am vlogging. I know you guys haven't seen a vlog from me in like forever, girl, but I am going to be uh, posting a vlog soon. I had two sets of earbuds and the first set I had, they don't, the charge doesn't stay. I got it from Amazon and every time I charge it, like the, they don't stay charged. Like I swear to God, I would charge the entire thing and then I would go on a run and 15 minutes into my run, it's like, oh, power dying. Like what the hell? So I got another pair of earbuds, um, a little bit of a different style, and those lasted, like the charge lasts for a while, but recently my left ear doesn't come on at all, and I've tried every single thing imaginary possible to fix it, and it just does not play at all. So I only have the right ear. So I was just like, oh, it's just time for me to get another set of earbuds. So I saw these, these are called the Air 5 earbuds. And it says it has stereo calling, voice command, and 14 touch commands. It says it stays charged up to 13 hours. We'll see about that. We will see. It says when you put it in place, it clicks to stay in place because it has like a magnetic hold, um, volume optimized, gel cushion tips, um, chart, and the case charges in auto pairing. So I don't know you guys let me know if you've ever tried this brand before I've actually never seen or tried this brand before so I'm not entirely sure how these are gonna work I low-key high-key want to kind of try them right now they're awfully cute like they're like this light pink I don't know if you guys can tell I'll try and get b-roll for y'all I'm so sorry but they're like this light pink um, color like baby pink I feel like it matches my room perfectly um, but yeah, this is what they look like. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I low-key want to try them out, but they might not be charged enough. But I will let you guys know what I think about those in a, another video or in a vlog video because I actually have to charge the case and everything before I can turn them on. But it looks cute and hopefully it works for $12 or $13, $12.99. So I got one thing from Ross and this was a $12.99. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, my Ross has been dry lately. I haven't seen any juicy wallets. Normally they have like a lot of cute wallets, a lot of cute bed clothes. I didn't, I didn't see nothing except for this. And I had seen this before, but I couldn't find it in my size. And it is this two piece PJ set, like satin PJ set. 
and it's really nice for the summertime it has like rhinestones all over the front you guys can't see because the lighting is not doing it what it's supposed to do but it has rhinestones on the front and then also the bottoms have like rhinestones on the butt and I have been looking for them. I checked Marshalls, I checked TJ Maxx, I checked Burlington, and everywhere I went, they only had large and extra large. I do not know why. I was to the point where I was like, you know what, if I find a medium, I will take a medium. I couldn't even find a medium, girl. So I went ahead and settled for the large. They had a lot of large and extra large, so I just settled for that. And my plan for this, you guys, is to turn it into a cute outfit. So it's actually really good idea that I got it large because now I have extra fabric to work with to take it in a little bit. But I want to make like a cute um, outfit, like a cute top, like a cute Floyd top with a skirt possibly. I'm thinking about turning the shorts into a cute skirt and like taking it in a little bit so it's tighter around my hips. But yeah, this was $12.99. I thought that was a really good deal. So the first thing that I picked up is this cute little bra by Gap Body. So I think it's by the Gap store. I don't know. That's what the tag says, Gap. This is in a 34B. I am actually a 32B, but that's okay. 34 is a sister size to a 32, so it's fine. Um, and this was $4.29, and it's this bright lime green color don't know what the camera is doing color wise you guys but it's like a neon green and I saw this and I was obsessed it is mesh but like if you were to go to Coachella especially in Coachella seeds and I'm not going but if you were to go to Coachella this would be one of those cute items you could wear like you could put like cute pasties underneath like some rhinestones pasties and put this on top so cute but my plan for this is to actually wear it underneath a tank top you know how sometimes you can get those razorback tank tops and a little bit of your bra like peeks out like that's what I got this for so a little bit of the green it can peak and it can be cute with an outfit so just hear me out okay hear me out hear me out because my summer style is going to be vacation chic so I'm gonna be wearing a lot of maxi dresses and like crop tops to match but I'm also gonna have a lounge style and my lounge style is gonna be pretty much you know the mom for Mean Girls that's gonna be my lounge style like velour track suits Bratz doll Paris Hilton lounge type vibes so I thought that this could be cute underneath a white tank top with some pants I'm about to show you I'm about to show you what I think it would be cute with right now but for 429 I just thought this was absolutely cute and gorgeous and if you guys don't know in the summertime I love to wear um, neon colors like bright neon colors along with white I think white is gonna be my summer color this year last year my summer color was hot pink and mainly because Barbie was out but I always do hot pink but Barbie was out so I had to go with hot pink but this year I think it's gonna be white with pops of color so super cute let me show you what I got to wear with that so I picked up this white razorback like it's like a cropped tank top um and i got this from the junior section you guys know i shop juniors and this is a small slash medium it was 6.99 what is the brand cotton candy collection whatever and it says high maintenance in rhinestones you guys how cute is that that is so paris hilton like that is so brat doll paris hilton if i haven't seen it before but like how cute is that you guys and i thought look you guys see the vision like the green popping out from the sides and the back with the high maintenance on it super cute and then then to go with that i picked up y'all are not gonna believe when run will you see this i'm happy i'm putting this at the end because now after this, y'all can run to Burlington because you're going to need to get it. They came out with velour pants. I'm waiting for the jackets because I feel like the jackets are going to come out. I saw this white one. I also found a hot pink one, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then I also saw this like green color and I was going to get all three, but I went back and forth on the green because it was like one of those green colors. They were like in between lime green and grass green. So I was just like, ah, pick a side. Like if it's gonna be grass green, I can do grass green, but it needs to be a true grass green. 
and if it's gonna be neon I can do neon green but it has to be neon green it was like in between and I was just like I don't know how I would style this or wear it but I did get the white one so that's super cute it has juicy on the butt you guys like what in the world I am dead you guys just don't understand. I've told this story before, so I won't waste your time telling it to you again. But growing up, I was really, really super poor and I really didn't have a lot of money. So like in my late teens, like early adult years, the girlies that were popular on my dance team and that were super mean to me, by the way, uh, all of these girlies wore Juicy Couture, they had coach bags, they wore like Gucci and baby fat, but mainly Juicy Couture. And they had their um, Victoria's Secret Love Spray sprays. And I always was like, oh, I want to be that girl so bad. Like I want that, but I didn't have the money. And now I have the money, bitch, and I'm reinventing my childhood as an adult. They do run quite big, as you guys can see. I'm hoping that when I put it in the wash and the dryer, it'll get tighter. But if it doesn't, I'm fine with that because when I tried it on, it kind of hangs really low and it hangs off my hips, which if you guys have seen Paris Hilton style, like the track suits, hers hang off her hips as well. So I'm thinking about getting like a cute rhinestone thong or something. Like, ooh, actually I have a Victoria's Secret rhinestone thong. So like the rhinestone thong will come up it's like total Y2K trash, but I think it's so cute for the summer. It's just fun to dress up, you know? And I got this for $17.99 and it was originally $99 at Juicy Couture. $99. You guys, I am praying to the Juicy Gods that our store will get the like the matching jackets i am praying for the matching jackets and i'm also praying to come by a light pink juicy couture track set and also a black one because then the collection will be complete these pants with this white high maintenance top this green on top with my bling um what do you call it my bling thong and my Juicy Couture white track jacket just to throw on at night at the summertime. Stop talking to me. Shut up. Don't say a damn thing. We're almost done, you guys. I know I said this is gonna be a quick video and then I just talked my ass off. Okay, so along with that, I got the hot pink pair. They are flared, you guys. By the way, if I did not say, because I don't think I showed you. I was chatting so much I didn't show you. But they are flared at the bottom, big, nice and flared. And when I saw these, I just could not. Again, $99 and I got it for $17.99. This is called the Hot Pink and Silver. And I think the other one is called uh, Off White and Silver. Um, and yeah, they were originally $99. Can you guys freaking believe that? Look at how cute. Like, this is just too freaking cute. And I'm hoping to get the track jacket to go with this one. And this is actually the outfit I'm looking for my hot pink bag for because I want to wear either like a cute hot pink juicy bag with this and like my juicy top. Hopefully I'll find the jacket and the jacket with it and I think I'll look cute. I already have a white juicy bag to go with the white outfit. I'll show you guys since we're here and we're chatting. So you guys remember I showed you guys this in the last haul video. But I got this white juicy bag and this is going to be so cute with my white and lime green juicy outfit. I just think it's going to be so cute. I also feel like I could wear the white bag with the hot pink outfit as well if I did like a white like tank top or tube top underneath the hot pink. Or I could do like a hot pink and black moment because I do have a black bag as well. So those are options but I still really do want to find a hot pink juicy bag to match my tracksuit for the summer. And I have been looking for wallets, you guys. I cannot find wallets anywhere. It's driving me nuts because I am the girly who needs the matching wallet to go with my bag. So, so this is a satin PJ set. How cute is this? It has just juicy embossed all over it and the juicy crown. It has a cute little pocket. And then it has these long pants. So cute and nice. There are a few strings that I need to snip. Um, but this is the uh, blush color and it, it was $19.99. I do think that that's kind of expensive for like PJs, like $20. But 
I went ahead and got them because I have been looking for a pair of silk PJ set and I think this one is a good one especially for it to be short sleeve for the summer I still need to find a long sleeve one though and then this was originally $58 and like I said I got it for $20 still a good deal but at the same time just kind of like why like seriously $20 they could have made this like 15 or 17 okay doll so last but not least I picked up a perfume because what would be a haul without a perfume, you guys? And because I was on the Juicy Couture roll, and because, I don't know, I, I looked at this and I was like, hmm, I've never seen this one before, so I should try it. So this is the Viva La Juicy Bodacious perfume. I was actually looking for the Sacre or Sacra or Sacre. I don't know. You guys, I'll pop it up on the screen or put it below. But I was looking for the like one that's shaped like a cupcake, but I don't think those are out in the stores yet because I think you can only find them on Macy's. And one of you dolls requested for me to review that one, so that's why I was on the hunt for it. And I saw this one instead, and I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I had never seen it before. It was $40, which I think is a good deal because if I'm not, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I bought a Juicy Couture perfume, like full price from Macy's, it was over a hundred dollars. It was like a hundred and some dollars. And that was the Juicy Couture Lay Bubbly. That was expensive. So I think these perfumes run pretty expensive. So for it to be $40 at Burlington, I was like, let me go ahead and pick that up and see what she's talking about. Now I'm not gonna be smelling it in this video because I'm gonna be doing a review of this perfume on Friday so you guys can check out that video Friday. But I'm so excited. I low-key wanna show you guys the bottle but I wanna kinda save it for the video when I unbox it. So you guys will just have to wait until Friday to see the review to see like what I think about it and things like that. But I'm super excited. I hope it smells good. Anyways, dolls, that will conclude my haul. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to join the family and click the subscribe button below. I love you, dolls. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, dolls. Mwah.